Hi my Newtons, you have already studied polar coordinate theory. If you have not, please pause this video, go back and look at the polar coordinate theory and I will be taking few simple questions today and then we will increase the level of the uh, questions as we proceed uh, tomorrow or day after. So here the first question is that there is car which is moving on the straight road with a speed of 90 km per hour. So this car is moving with a speed of 90 km per hour. Okay. And what we have to find out is velocity along this line and the corresponding omega. So clearly if we have studied yesterday that this will be called as the radial line or radial direction and the perpendicular direction will be called as the tangential direction and this is the sign convention we have chosen that our uh, cap along the radius uh, will be positive direction and uh, corresponding uh, theta cap or tangential direction will be this. So now if you have to find the velocity along the radial direction it is pretty simple that this theta is given to you and I will say that this has two components one along the radial one along the tangential direction and therefore radial will be defined as very simple it will be v velocity cos of theta will be equal to velocity along the radial which is nothing but dr by dt and this will be simple v is given to you 90 cos of theta theta is given to you as 60 so cos 60 is half and therefore this will be equal to dr by dt and therefore dr by dt will be equal to 45 kilometer per hour. So if you are observing it from A, you will observe that object is moving along this direction with a speed of 45 kilometer per hour. So this is the radial velocity. Now the tangential at the rate at which omega is what? The rate at which this theta is changing. So I can simply say r d theta by dt and minus component because it is uh, so it will be equal to r d theta by dt will be equal to minus of v why i have taken minus because it is in the negative direction to the assumed uh, tangential direction so v sine of theta and uh, from here i will get that d theta by dt which is the rate of change of uh, this theta or omega will be equal to minus of v sin theta v sin theta upon r and therefore it will be equal to minus v is given to you as 90 into sin theta root 3 by 2 upon r is given as 100 okay so i will convert this 90 into meter per second which is 5 by 18 and therefore 18 5 5 5 25 4 and therefore it will be equal to minus root 3 by 8 radian per second so this will be your omega okay corresponding omega you will find this so this is an easy way of solving any question the next one is also pretty simple uh, not a very difficult one but let's see we'll try this one uh, it says that there is a rocket which is fired vertically and when it reaches a particular height these are the readings shown by the radar so usually um, the radial direction and the polar coordinates are used for uh, aeroplanes, radars and all those uh, objects. So here there is a rocket which is moving vertically upwards and it is said that uh, acceleration along the radial direction. AB is nothing but acceleration along the radial direction. So let's say this is the radial direction R cap and the corresponding theta cap is this so it is given that radius along this particular direction acceleration along this is uh, given to you and this acceleration along the radial is nothing but it is d square r by dt square minus omega square r and this is what we have studied uh, in our basic uh, polar um, polar coordinate theory so now this is given to you and we have already studied this concept. You must have studied that uh, in circular motion, you study that uh, acceleration towards the center is omega square r. And we have not studied this because r is assumed to be constant in circular motion. And most of the cases you will study. But when r is changing, this will be the acceleration along the radial direction. Now, this will be simply equal to d square r. But it is given to you 30.1 
minus omega square omega is 0 0.03 so 3 into 3 9 into 10 raised to power minus 4 into r is 9 kilometer 9 into 10 raised to power 3 uh, that will convert it into meter so this will be equal to 30.1 minus 9 into 9 81 into 10 raised to power minus 1 right so typically this will be equal to 22 meter per second square so along this direction the radial acceleration is 22 meter per second square and what we have to find is acceleration of the rocket which is this right so acceleration of the rocket is this so obviously one component will be along this and the other component will be along the tangential direction so this component this will be equal to i can say simply a because this is theta so it will be a sine of theta will be equal to this radial component and from here i can simply get a equal to 22 upon sine theta and theta is given to you as 30 degree so sine 30 is half and therefore acceleration will be equal to 44 meter per second square right so acceleration of this rocket is 44 meter per second square now we have to find the velocity so similarly you can find the velocity too because uh, clearly omega is given to you and we know along the tangential direction the component is this component is r d theta by dt so r is given to you d theta by dt is given to you which is omega and clearly you can find the velocity because you can say if this is this will be equal to theta this is the velocity of the rocket and the component will be v cos theta and therefore i can simply say that v cos theta velocity is component along the uh, tangential direction and this is given to you so we will use what is given to us r into d theta by dt is given to you r is 9 into 10 raised to power 3 into d theta by dt is 3 into 10 raised to power minus 2 this is given to you and therefore this will be equal to 9 threes are 27 into 10 and therefore it will be equal to 270 and uh, meter per second and this will be v cos theta and from here i will get velocity is equal to 270 upon cos of theta cos of theta theta is given to you so it will be root 3 by 2 it will be 270 into 2 by root 3 if i multiply by root 3 by root 3 so i will get 3 here and 3 will give me 90 so it will be equal to 180 root of 3 meter per second so this will be the velocity uh, of the rocket so clearly my newtons you can see the impact of polar coordinate is usually during the um, whenever an object is moving away from the source especially radars, sonars. So all these things follow this particular concept of radial uh, or polar coordinates and therefore it can be useful. It can be also useful in lot of other areas. For example, we'll discuss one challenging problem uh, tomorrow that there is a circle and on this circle there is a wheel, right? So let's say there is a wheel and uh, a person is moving this wheel along this circle, right? So you have to find the omega or alpha of this. If omega is known to you of this wheel, you have to find the alpha of this particular wheel. And how to find that alpha is something that you have to think. And using polar coordinates, this can be solved just like easy peasy thing. And uh, things will become much, much, much easier when you try to think it in terms of polar coordinates. So a lot of questions become much, much easier. The concept of uh, rotation, mo uh, rotation motion also becomes much, much easier if you know the concept of polar coordinate so all the best uh, knowing these concepts all the best applying these concepts and i hope you are enjoying this series level up series my newtons so just keep enjoying it keep sharing it with your friends and uh, you can boast because these are one of the best collected qu questions on mechanics across the country across on youtube so i have not seen these kind of questions on youtube because people usually we as teachers we uh, cater to masses we don't cater to the students who actually can understand the difficult concepts so here i am 
uh, talking to all those who can actually take up uh, or who loves physics, who wants to improve physics and uh, get to the Olympiad or advanced level. So all the very best. See you soon in our next lecture with uh, more challenging problems. Just sign up to this channel. Thank you.